this video, we will explain how to prepare for the OFPRA interview. OFPRA is the French Office for the Protection of Refugees and Stateless Persons, and give you more information about what happens at the interview. Once you have been invited to interview, you should begin preparing for your interview with an organization. You will find the contact information for relevant organizations on our website here. The interview is very important because it is the moment when everything is decided. You need to convince the OFRA official that you are in need of protection and that the story you are recounting is definitely your own. If you are unable to go for your interview for medical reasons or any other urgent reason, you need to send a letter with your documented proof by registered post, lettre recommandé, with acknowledgement of receipt, accusé de reception, as soon as possible. The individual interview takes place at the OFRA offices. However, it is also possible to conduct the interview remotely via video conference. If possible, please arrive 30 minutes before your scheduled interview time. There will be an OFRA protection officer present during your interview. He or she is not affiliated with the police. He or she is there to listen to your testimony. Throughout the interview, he or she will only be interested in your personal situation and not that of the general situation of your country. He or she will be the one to decide whether you are granted asylum. There will be an interpreter provided for you if you have requested to be interviewed in any other language than French. You are allowed to be accompanied to the interview by an organization authorized by OFRA or by a lawyer, but only if you are paying for his or her services. He or she will not speak during the interview, but they will be there to support you and to comment at the end of the interview. Family members are not allowed at the individual interview. For the interview, you are required to bring the following documents with you. Convocation OFRA, OFRA interview request, attestation de demande d'asile, your asylum application certificate, all relevant documents to provide evidence of your story if available, medical certificates if available. It is up to you to ensure that the interpreter has translated everything fully into the best of your understanding without leaving anything out. You and the person accompanying you both have the right to complain if there are any issues in this regard. Therefore, be sure to speak up if something does not feel right. Take your times when recounting your story, give plenty of details, and do not be afraid to show your emotions. The interview takes place in three segments. The first part concerns your identity, your civil status, and your family status. The officer will additionally ask questions concerning your knowledge of your home country as a means of verifying your nationality and cultural background. These can include questions asking for very specific details about your hometown, city, neighborhood, culture, geography, etc. The second part is the longest and concerns your reasons for leaving your country of origin, threats, persecution. Generally speaking, the question is, what are your reasons for leaving the country? As you recount your story, the officer will also ask more specific questions concerning the chronology of your story. Ofra will insist on knowing the circumstances surrounding the events that forced you to flee your country. Your answers ought to be as detailed and precise as possible and include solely what happened to you personally. At the end of the interview, the officer will undoubtedly ask you the following concluding question. What do you fear the most if you were sent back to your home country? You must absolutely indicate what would happen to you if you were to return to your former home today. You do not need to have your story memorized. However, it is recommended that you commit to memory as thoroughly as possible the chronological sequence of events, dates, places, names, or occupations of relevant people, and the conditions of your departure, border crossings, funding for the journey. If you are not able to respond to a question, you are allowed to say that you don't know or that you do not recall the exact details of the answers of the officer's questions. Nonetheless, you must never lie. If you do not understand what the officer or the interpreter are saying, or if you think that they did not understand what you said, you have the right to say so. Lastly, we suggest that you request a copy of the report of the interview in the days following the interview, before OFPRA has made its decisions. It is recommended that you keep a copy of it. You will receive the decision by post or will be posted at the OFRA website within a few weeks of the interview. Please watch the following video if your asylum request was accepted. It's here and it's called What happens if OFRA grants me subsidiary protection or refugee status? Also, you can watch this one if your request was denied. What to do if OFRA rejects or closes my asylum request? See you soon.